everybody. Welcome to yet another episode of Learning Perspectives. Today we are going to deconstruct a scene from a movie called Ajab Prem Ki Gajab Kahani. And the concept that we are going to learn today is about rent expenses. Be zat banegi. Kab se keh raha hu mere chacha ka ek flat khali pada hai. Hum kiraydar dhoondte hain commission milega. Wo heaven apartment. Second class building ka third class flat. Koi nahi lega. Are koi na koi bevku mil jayega. Aur nahi mila to kisi ko bevku bana denge. आइए 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 पिंडोंकिल ये रहा आपका आलीशान फ्लैट मेरा फ्लैट अभी तो देखा भी नहीं ठीक से देखिए देखिए ना रोशनदार हवादार शानदार आपको इससे अच्छा फ्लैट कहाँ मिलेगा अंकल है ना फर्स्ट क्लास फर्स्ट क्लास है ही फर्स्ट क्लास राजू कोई गधा बेवकूफ उल्लू का पट्टा ही होगा जो बोलेगा अच्छा नहीं है आपको कैसा लगा अंकल अच्छा है देखा as you saw in the scene um, ranbir kapoor which is prem in the movie is trying to sell a house to mr pinto basically rent him that house now um, mr pinto would now have to undertake the rental expenses of that premises uh, he eventually takes the flat in the next scene and uh, now he has to bone those expenses in this episode we are going to discuss what are rental expenses now uh, rental expenses are the rental cost so the scene that you just saw mr pinto had to bone those expenses and hence he has to pay these every month uh, to the owner of the flat similarly in organizations as well they have to every month pay the rental expenses now these expenses can also be in the form of lease payments if the premises has been taken on lease now what we need to understand for an organization these expenses are large in nature because the premises are large these expenses are also large in nature and hence are reported in the income statement now i'll also uh, link down the expenses video below so that you can understand what exactly are expenses now as i said before rent is an expense uh, hence it will be again debited to the pnl or the income statement uh, like i mentioned before in the previous video uh, all incomes are credited and expenses are debited hence it will be debited in the income statement now again like i mentioned before these can be uh, large payments uh, or lease payments now lease payments also can be paid in advance now um, what we can discuss here is if the rent is paid into in advance for a entire year then how is it recorded in the books of accounts so for example if i run a business and i have a premises that i have taken on rent i have this kind of money at this point of time uh, let's say in the beginning of the year in january itself i pay the entire rent for the entire year right so let's say um, let's take this an example um, i have to pay 5000 rupees per month as rent which is very low but i'm just taking an example here so 5000 rupees per month is paid for 12 months so that becomes 60000 so when i do that um, for the entire year in the first month itself then it becomes like an asset for me so in my books of accounts i will record it as an asset and that asset is called prepaid asset now in this case this prepaid asset would be called prepaid rent because i've paid it for the entire year it's quite logical to call it prepaid but this is an asset remember now uh, if i'm sitting on 1st january the journal entry that i would record here is prepaid rent account debit to cash now uh, this is because cash is going out of the business i'm paying it to somebody else i'll debit i'll debit prepaid rent uh, which is an asset and recorded for 60000 each now when this has been done uh, the next step uh, is arrives when the january month expires 
now january month expires on 31st of january and when i have to make my another income statement at the end of the month now what will happen now the entry would have to be reversed uh, not reversed basically but entry would be changed in a way because um, i had paid 60000 for the entire year but 5000 rupees expire uh, and the legit amount that i had to pay for january so those uh, that money also expires right so on 31st january the entry would be rent expenses to prepaid rent so from uh, the above portion i had 60000 debited and credited there uh now i will remove 5000 from that because now i will uh, legitimately debit my uh, income statement with 5000 so that becomes prepaid rent ex sorry rent expenses debit 5000 to prepaid rent so that was debited earlier now i'll credit it with 5000 uh this is important to understand because in one month i had to pay that 5000 so i will take out that 5000 and the above entry in which i had recorded 60000 now there is only 55000 left in that because i am now debiting 5000 in my as my rent expenses now deferred rent is also another term that is used by accounting now this takes place when um there is a lease agreement so for example i uh, took a lease agreement with another party for one year so here every month i had to pay 10000 rupees uh, as my lease rent now uh, uh, at times that the other party can make the first month as free right um, so when the first month is free the amount of lease becomes 10000 into 11 which is 110000 but in the income statement that needs to be recorded i will record uh, 110000 divided by 12 that comes out to be 9167 this irrespective of the free month i will still record it in the pnl as a debit to my pnl as 9167 so i hope you understood the topic of rent today if you have any queries please put your questions in the comment section down below also don't forget to subscribe to the channel also hit the notification bell for regular updates don't forget to check out the links given in the description box below there you will find all the content in written format thank you for watching take care stay safe and he stay healthy